Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Kyle Bennett and uh, you're watching Film Dice and this uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at a cool After Effects tutorial. It's actually a really cool After Effects tutorial. And um, so this is what we're creating today. We're looking at how to track optical flares uh, the right way. I've seen some videos on YouTube where people put optical flares on a solid and then they just track the entire solid to a null rather than the actual effect and it just looks bad. So, because the whole effect moves rather than, you know, you have like the main flare and then you have like the tail of the flare, as you can see here, I don't know what it's called, we'll just call it the tail, and it, it's like locked into position and everything moves and looks really dynamic and it looks good, rather than the whole thing just being tracked to the scene, which looks like this, it looks bad. So let's, let's uh, jump into it today and see how to do it. So here I have some really basic footage. It just looks like this, and I have it in a composition. So let's get started by creating a new null object. Good. Now let's create a new solid. And it doesn't matter what color it is, just make sure it's the comp size and hit OK. Then we're gonna put the opticals, optical flares effect on it, so press effect, uh, optic video copilot and optical flares. And we'll just leave it on the standard flare for now. Anyway, so now before we do anything else, let's click on the footage and click track motion. And make sure you're at the start of your footage and just find a place to track. So I'm going to track this little black thing here because I think it's a pipe. It's just, it stays in the shot the whole time. Make sure it does stay in the shot the whole time. And it's just something that'll be easy to track. So I'm going to select that. All right, good. And uh, I'll start tracking, I'll skip through this part so you don't have to watch it. Okay, so it's finished tracking and now we want to apply it to our null. Uh, before you do anything, make sure you actually have a look at this motion target here because uh, if you apply it to the black solid, it's not gonna work. So click edit target and then make sure your target is set to null one and hit okay. So now it says null one, and we can click apply. X and Y, make sure you do that, hit OK, and there you go. So first of all, if we just straight away attach this to our null, the whole layer, uh, this is what happens. So as you can see, the whole flare just stays still. And by the way, to get rid of the black background, there's two ways of doing that. You can come into the actual effect and click on transparent, or you can go into the blending mode and change it to either screen or add. So as you can see, it uh, doesn't really work too well that way. We're going to press E on our black solid so it opens up that, and then come over to our effect controls and double click on position. So now we've got the uh, position X, Y open up. We're gonna click on our null and click P. And now we've got our position open up. And what we're gonna do is Alt click on our stopwatch for the optical flares position X, Y. So Alt click on it and then it opens this up. So this is uh, expressions. What we're going to do is grab this little pick whip thing here, and we're gonna bring it all the way down and put it on the actual position. Don't put it on the null, make sure it's actually on the position, otherwise it won't work, it'll just give you an error. So drop it on there, and then click away. And then as you can see, our flare is tracked to our shot. I'll zoom in so you can see this a bit better. I'll change it to screen so it's not so bright. So if we pan through this, you can see that it is stuck to our scene. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go into our options here and change the actual flare crazy light, because that'll be a good example. So hit OK, and then we go. So there you go. So as you can see, this thing here, which we're calling the tail of the flare is like moving around and it looks really cool, it looks dynamic, and it looks like it's part of the shot, which is really cool, it's the effect we're going for. Now this doesn't actually just work with optical flares, we can actually, if we grab the, if I can spell, if we grab the uh, built into after, the uh, effect that's built into After Effects called Lens Flare, it's not a very good uh, plugin, but it'll do. And let's do the same thing, we'll open up the flare center, and we'll pick whip it to our position, 
and as you can see it does the same thing, it's attached to it, but you only get three options, three different types of flares, so it's not very, not very good, but if you don't have optical flares, it's something you can do, and it still works, and it still looks pretty cool, so I suppose that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, so this is just a quick tutorial, just showing you how to do this. Um, the Minecraft tutorial, and a lot of you have been asking for the Minecraft tutorial. We have been really busy lately, but another reason is um, I ordered a microphone, the Blue Yeti. At the moment I'm using the Rode Video Mic, but you get a lot of background noise and stuff with that, and I don't like the way it sounds. I have to add a whole bunch of uh, post effects and stuff in Premiere to try and uh, cut out that noise and stuff. So I ordered a new microphone so the audio quality should be really good so I'm gonna get that uh, I've got a pop filter coming and I really want to make these Minecraft tutorials uh, high quality and sort of make them look kinda of professional so it'll probably look a bit different to what this tutorial did um, I might bring out a tutorial before that after I get my microphone just to test things out make sure it's all working well and sort of uh, yeah so the Minecraft tutorial is going to be in three parts so far, it might get longer, but there's the Cinema 4D tutorial where I show you how to uh, put an object in your scene, render it out, make it look good. The compositing tutorial in After Effects where I show you how to bring the render into After Effects and make it look better. And a third tutorial which is Dynamics in Cinema 4D, so sort of how we make the zombies fall apart and fall to the ground. I'll show you how to do that in Cinema 4D, so that should be... Uh, really cool. So that hopefully that should be coming out soonish, but we are really busy. We all have jobs and stuff and it's kind of hard to find time to do this sometimes, but hopefully it should be out soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want.